vast realm of music, there are those rare voices that possess the power to captivate and elevate any song they touch. One such voice belongs to a legend whose hooks have left an incredible mark on the industry. And that individual goes by the name Nate Dogg. Nate Dogg, born Nathaniel Dwayne Hale, emerged from the streets of Long Beach, California. Long Beach is one of the jewels in the diadem of Southland City. Picturesque oceanfront, friendly people. With a voice that would forever change the landscape of music. In the heart of the West Coast hip hop scene, Nate Dogg's early days were defined by collaborations with legends that would later shape an entire generation. In 1990, he formed the supergroup 213 with fellow rappers Warren G and Snoop Dogg. The group became the epitome of G Funk with their melodic rhythms and laid back vibes captivating audience across the nation. Nate Dogg's journey led him to the legendary Death Row Records, where his talent soared to new heights. The Long Beach native lent his hypnotic hooks to tracks by Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Tupac, contributing to some of the label's most memorable releases on The Chronic, Doggy Style, and Tupac Live. One of them names was sexy as hell. I said, ooh, I like your size. She said my chords broke down and just sing real nice with your let me ride. In 1994, Nate Dogg co-wrote Regulate with Warren G. The song appeared on the Above the Rim soundtrack and later on Warren G's debut album. Regulate peaked at number two on the Billboard charts and remains a West Coast anthem to this very day. That iconic collaboration solidified Nate Dogg's reputation as the go-to hook artist, which allowed him to continue to showcase his versatility and adaptability. Goaded. Nate Dogg's signature style was characterized by his velvety smooth vocals and fused with a unique blend of hip hop, R&B, and soul. His hooks possessed a remarkable knack for rendering songs unforgettable, propelling him into the ranks of the most sought after artists of his era. In the early 2000s, we saw chart topping collaborations with Fabulous's Can't Deny It, Ludacris's Area Codes, and again with Dr. Dre on next episode. He later teamed up with Jadakiss on Time's Up and with 50 Cent on 21 Questions, the latter of which peaked at number one on the Hot 100. These records showcase his universal appeal, extending beyond the realm of gangster rap. The tracks he featured on were not just songs, they were anthems that resonated with audiences worldwide. As a featured artist, he charted 16 times on the Billboard Hot 100, a testament to his undeniable impact. When asked about Nate Dogg's legacy, Rick Ross told MTV, he had one of the biggest voices hip hop ever heard. If you could pull off a Nate Dogg feature, you were gonna hit the charts. You were gonna get that love because he had that commanding voice everyone loved. Tragically, Nate Dogg's life was cut short in 2011, leaving behind a legacy that continues to stand the test of time. His childhood friend and group mate Snoop Dogg tweeted, you put the G in G funk, you put the one in 213, and you put your stamp on everyone you ever did it with. His hooks live on, inspiring artists and captivating audiences for the last three decades. As we reflect on Nate Dogg's journey, the king of music hooks, we're reminded of his immortal talent. Rooted in West Coast hip hop and collaboration, his voice echoes through his music history, an extraordinary testament to the power of a single voice. RIP to Nate Dogg, nobody did it like you before you, and nobody has done it like you since. Thank you for all you've done for music. Yeah.